Come on. Life in prison is no life at all. Actually, I'm only existing. I'm, I'm surviving. Because if I try to live in prison, then I got to die, you see. Uh, so this is just a one continuous survival. Survival of the fittest, so to speak. And that is part of my everyday life here. Uh, brutality. Uh, humiliation. I realize that I am here in prison. But I, I, I committed no crime to be here in prison. The crime was committed against me. I refuse to be treated as a criminal. I refuse to be treated as a non-entity. I am somebody. I'm a human being. And if you do not treat me as a human being, then you're going to have some trouble out of me, you see. And that's the way I survive here in prison. Have radio or TV, you know, like a lot of the other inmates do. Why not? Other inmates do have radios and televisions and record players and all the other kind of uh, technical technical things that uh, help help to do the time, to pacify the time, to pacify them. But I can't have any of these things. See, my reality says that I'm in prison with triple life. So therefore, my reality is to get out of prison. And if these things are there to, to block my thinking, then I can't get out of prison. So therefore, I always just let it be as it is, uh, cold turkey, so to speak. So I know that each moment I'm working towards getting out of here, not digging myself deeper into this place. Since their bout has been existing here, I don't know how long, but 157 people have lost their life in this particular place here. And now, in this day and age, when people are aware of prisons and what prisons mean, in the, in the humiliation of, of warehousing human beings in places for long periods of time, the last of the, of the hardcore uh, penologists have reverted the death house into the visiting area. This place here is where the prisoners in this prison must visit with their families, their wives, their daughters, their children each week the death house, you see. The electric chair which goes, which is in that uh, door over there, is still standing. It's still, be, it's still ready to be hooked up to the pole outside to burn some more indigenous life out, you know. Uh, this is uh, the death house. How often do you see your family, Ruben? I see my family once a month because I only allow them to come here and be subjected to the harshness of the guards to be subjected to walking past the electric chair, knowing that their father and their husband could have been sitting in that electric chair. So they only come here once a month. What do you talk about when you see them? <laughs> what I talk about, I talk about life, love, living. That's the only time I can talk about these things is when I'm with them on, in the vision hall. I don't know how much longer I'll be here. I know as long as I've been here now, it's been too long. 